Um, hi, Doug. So welcome and thank you so much for your time. Um, this is our team and we are blown by your results and we would love to just ask a few questions. Um, yes. How are you doing? How is the coaching and um, stuff like that? So I'll be the first one to ask you a few, like around uh, five, six, and then the team will join. So any kind of details, they'll follow up. So the first one, could you just please introduce yourself to all the people who will be watching this video and then tell us what you do and how you help people? Yeah, so I am a real estate finance and investment lawyer who also specializes in mentoring real estate investors to grow and scale their portfolio using other people's money. So that's kind of my niche. Uh, I mean, I've got my own law firm. I, I run a firm here in Atlanta. I've got 25 staff members, 13 lawyers. You know, we have a big operation. We close deals all over the world and uh, sort of started this coaching mentorship program, community program on the side, just after clients and colleagues have said, you know, you should, you know, you should mentor students. And I've got my own portfolio as well of, of up to $75 million worth of assets. And so I'm, I'm a deal lawyer and I'm a deal maker at the same time. So I think I'm in a, a, a unique space though, because there's a lot of real estate mentors out there that, but not anyone that I've seen that actually has a, a law degree that's actually closed these transactions and knows how to actually structure them. So I've been getting a lot of good feedback uh, from that perspective. Amazing. Love that. And then uh, could you please describe your point A? So before you joined the coaching, maybe revenue-wise, followers, so any numbers you can give us. What you said, point point A? Yeah, so like before the coaching, what numbers did you have? Well, I didn't have any. I mean, I didn't have anything. I didn't really have a... I wasn't on Instagram at all. I mean, I had a personal account. My firm had a small account, but I wasn't using it as a business tool. Um, I was posting a lot on LinkedIn, just kind of, I think LinkedIn gives you more, more professional credibility. Um, and so I've got, I had a decent following there, but it was really just to kind of spread my name as a, you know, as an authority in the space, uh, from a legal perspective, but I, what actually a buddy of mine started doing it on Instagram and I thought, well, Hey, I can, I can do that. Uh, so really before Instagram, I, I mean, before I didn't have any any clients or uh, followers? I mean, I had a, you know a couple hundred, but nothing, um, nothing outrageous. Yeah, got it. Amazing. And then, could you please just share your point B? So right now, uh, maybe I can share your account if you want to kind of guide us through the numbers or um, the revenue and clients that you got in the past few months. Yeah. So it's interesting. You know, I haven't actually. Um, Actually, I've made ninety three dollars so far. So from zero to ninety three is pretty good. I've got I've got one paying community member, but I've got a lot of I've got a lot of traction. You know, I had one hundred and fifteen people register for my first webinar. Um, I think forty or forty five showed up, and of that, twenty joined the community. But I I made the community uh, membership for that first webinar free just to kind of get some names in there and get some people in there. So when people see, they don't think they're the only one. So that was certainly, that was certainly good. Um, and so we do, you know, live Q and A's every week. Um, and, and I, I, you know, I haven't actually, and I, I actually probably need to go to your offer workshop, Elena, is what I've been told. Cause I, I haven't actually been able to like, I've sent out probably six or seven invoices for the coaching. I don't know if it's my process or what, but, but, you know, people just fall off. They don't respond. They don't. They don't sign the invoice. They don't send in the in the funds for the coaching. So I haven't actually been able to land any coaching students yet. Maybe that's me. Maybe it just it just takes some time. You know, it's only been a month uh, that we've been doing this. So I'm okay with that. I mean, I think it'll it'll just take a little bit of time. But the account has grown exponentially. You know, um, so that's that's really good. I'm really excited about that. I've been getting a lot of traction, a lot of calls, a lot of, a lot of leads, you know, so that, that's the biggest thing. I mean, I've been getting, you know, even if it's just zoom calls with, you know, and the good thing for me is like this, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Like I'll take the coaching clients, but then a lot of times I'll speak to people and they're, they're like experienced real estate investors. And I say, okay, well, look, here's the law firm. Let's, let's work together, you know, uh, in a, in an attorney client relationship. So Either either way, it works for me when I when I get to meet new people through Instagram. Amazing. And then um, right now, I just um, kind of double check the account. So it's at twelve point nine k. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. And then you joined with like a few hundred. You said. I mean, it was probably I think fourteen hundred. Um, now a lot of that is you know I, I have been continuing to to pay and and boost some ads um, just because Courtney was like you know if you if you stop 
sometimes they'll punish you. You know, Instagram will punish you and they'll make you want to go buy ads because you've been buying ads for the last month or so. And if you stop, you know, the, the account may not do as well. So I have continued to boost, but yeah, it's been, it's been growing like crazy. Amazing. So um, kind of point A and point B um, comparison from the numbers I've got is you started with like 1,400 followers. Right now you're at 12.9K. And then um, so 21 members for the community, they're, they're supposed to pay like in future months when they join and when, when you uh, create this membership and you're getting basically more leads. Um, we just need to help you with the offer and sales a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah, exactly. The lead, the leads are the biggest, you know, that's absolutely from, you know, the program and, and just, you know, having people reach out um, and comment and things like that. And, and the, you know, the, the freebie from the free webinar is really a good way to get, I mean, I, I, I'm doing another one actually next week, the same one. Um, and so I've got like probably 40 people signed up for that so far. So yeah, I think it just takes time, but I, I need some help with the conversion of like getting them, you know, I, I need, I need to sell them as hard as Charlie sold me on you guys. He wouldn't let me get off the phone until I paid the credit by credit card. So maybe I should do that. <laughs> yeah, we have workshops on Monday and Friday from our um, coaches. So Mitch is actually one of them. So he's here on a call and um, yeah, one of my clients, he went from zero to 16 K in a few weeks just by attending those. So no worries. Yeah. The offer workshop or the, so the sales. Sales workshop, yeah, that's what I need because I, I and I found my it's I, I've struggled to find my voice when talking to the clients because I feel a little torn from you know am I trying to sell them my legal services or am I trying to sell them my coaching and mentorship services and so that's been I, and I kind of listen to to hear what they're saying like I talked to a guy yesterday and he wanted me to help him like raise capital he's like I don't need a mentor like I need help on my deals and I was like oh, okay well let me I can help you that way. So it's a little bit different, um, but I could I could use some help on that for sure. So the sales workshop, I'll go to that. Oh, Monday to Friday, we'll be waiting for you. Awesome. And then uh, what about the leads? So um, before, like when you had 1,400 followers, how many leads were you getting roughly a month? None, zero. Um, so the leads have definitely increased exponentially. That's the biggest benefit. You know, I wasn't, I'm not an online, you know, seller. I don't sell anything online. I mean, I, I have, I have, you know, I don't, but I don't have any retail traffic in my law firm either. I mean, it's all just client referrals, it's big companies, it's things like that. So I've got, you know, I, I, my originations in the revenue in the, in the law firm are like, you know, three and a half million personally, but I don't do any of that business online or through Instagram through lead generation. And so going from zero to, I probably have 20 or 30 leads you know, right now you can mark the DMs as leads in Instagram, which I found that to be very helpful when you have conversations. And I've got, I've got an executive assistant in the Philippines that will reach out to clients on Instagram or reach out to followers. Um, so that's been really helpful too. Amazing. And then um, how many signs have? So last webinar was like 115 and then this webinar is already 14 uh, people. Yeah, it's, it's at, I think 40 um, so far. Double check. Yeah, I think it's at about 40. Cool. And it's the same one. And then, you know, I'll just probably keep doing these, you know, monthly on various topics. I actually, I actually did a story on Instagram and said, like, what, what should be the next topic for next month? And had some feedback on, on what people would want to hear. Yeah, it's at 43 now. Love that. So is it the first time you're launching the webinar, like the, the from the coaching? Yeah, yeah. Last Last uh, month was the first time that I did that I ever did a webinar like that. Amazing. Zero leads to, well, 150 in total registrations for the webinar. Yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, through this, I mean, now all of these, all of these individuals are now in my MailChimp account and in my email marketing. That's another thing I wanted, you know, Mike uses email marketing. I, mean, I get his emails every day. And so for these people, they're now going into that funnel as well. And so you know, I, there was, there was those that they signed up and they didn't attend. So I'm trying to reach back out to them to see if they'll attend in July. But then, and then also I just need to think of a strategy of how to, of how to convert them into the coaching program. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. You can, well, join my offer and then we'll crush it with sales. Okay. Love that. Um, and then for, for the next part, so what was your kind of feelings or what, like, why did you decide to join? So what made you sign up why did you i don't know not want to do it by yourself 
yourself? Why did you um, go with done for you? Do you like editing? Have you tried it yourself? Like what are the feelings or maybe frustrations that you had before the coaching that we are helping you to solve? Yeah. Um, you know, I was trying to, when, when Courtney was describing the, the different types of buyers, I was trying to figure out who, what, what buyer I was, if I was like an emotional buyer, or if I was like an analytical buyer, if I just, you know, and I, and I didn't really shop any other coaches. I think I just saw one of his posts and was like, I'll go with this guy, you know? And I didn't really think I needed, I didn't, I mean, honestly, like I have a friend that's doing it in a similar space. And so I was like, well, hell, I can do that. And so I just started kind of doing it on my own. And I, he, I was using his, he's got this kid, this video editor. I think he just graduated high school from San Diego. And it was like 20 bucks a video ed to edit it. And so I was using him just kind of doing my random content. He kind of gave me some ideas on, on hooks and whatnot. And then I thought, um, I just thought it would be good to kind of make a concerted effort. Uh, and I'm, and I'm definitely keeping track of like how much I've paid so far. And then, and then hopefully I'll turn a profit here, you know, in the next couple of months, um, which I'm sure I will. But, um, but I think, yeah, just, you know, your question was kind of what made me go with, uh, you guys. Yeah. So just like, yeah, any I mean, problems you want us to solve and then maybe you tried it yourself. So like you had this guy. Yeah, maybe exactly. you tried it. yeah. Yeah. So I tried it myself and realized that, that, you know, um, i I'm sure there's a lot more that I could be doing and that I don't. And then after getting into, you know, y'all's program and kind of going through all the workshops, it's like, there's so much to, there's so many little details and nuances that I, I know, I had no idea about. So it's been, it's been very helpful. Amazing. Good. And then um, just a few things from my side. So what are the three main, maybe um, kind of factors or lessons or workshops, or maybe your time with coach, like three main things? that helped you to grow, that helped you to analyze that, oh, um, I should be presenting offer differently or I should be like talking to people differently. So those improvements that you mentioned, what are the three things that affected them? Three things that, have, that affected the improvements. Mm -hmm. um, the results. The results, yeah. I mean, I think, the, I think crystallizing the offer um, with Courtney was helpful. We kind of workshopped it. I still think it's not 100% good i mean i i, I probably I, we're gonna have another session here maybe i need to you know go i'll go to your offer workshop elena because you know i've got i've got the coaching but i think it's too it's really cheap it's like 1500 bucks for 90 days you know for three months or 1497 i guess and then we've got the paid community um but you know this is kind of like the first 10 people are going to get in i could be more salesy i guess i need to just be more more of a salesman um on on some of that stuff so but but crystallizing the offer was super helpful watching the videos on content creation um you know how to post what to post when to post things like that i've kind of figured out the algorithm now so i've just i just posted one last night that's at two hundred ninety three thousand. uh it's a it's a remix of a reel and so i'll find these catchy reels and then i'll remix it to something that is related to real estate or something related to my industry. And so it's my second one. Yeah, I did one last week and it was, it was at like 18 or 19,000. Um, but this one, so I've kind of, you know, that's, I, I'm doing that in addition to posting, you know, the posts that the done for you team is doing. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that, I think that, that's about it. Amazing. And then uh, Mitch, can you just give me a quick permission to share the screen? So I'm going to, Kind of highlights. Yes. All right. There you go. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So you're you talking about this one? It's like just posted yesterday already. Yeah. Already, almost. Cool. And then yeah, just growth in in the month time. So yeah. Yeah. Great. And and the um the um what do you call it at the at the the account optimization? That's it. The account optimization that was super helpful figuring out how to optimize that account. Mm -hmm. I've changed it a couple of times. We just did a new, I just re revamped it with Courtney's input. I think Mitch, I went to your workshop and it was good, but she, she reviewed it and was like, oh, it feels intimidating. Like you need to tell people what you're doing. So I changed that top line, um, which was helpful. Um, and then I still need to clean up some of the highlights because there's like old content in there. I just never knew this about Instagram. I never knew like, 
I mean, I'll go to someone else's profile and I'll start looking through their highlights, but I never, never knew like how important it was. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have like a lot of these events are, are outdated, you know, so I need to change that and fix that. Good. Cool. Well, after the months going viral, getting more than 10K followers is pretty great. So what would be um, your advice for people who just joined? So like, let's imagine we just have a client who just joined, maybe with the same package, maybe something else. Uh, but what should they do? What should they focus on? Or maybe they should trust us or recommendations. Like what is your number one advice for someone who just bought the coaching? Uh, I would say watch the watch the training videos, um, you know, through the school platform. Those are all super helpful and they're short and they're, they're just great. Like you can just pop one on for seven or eight minutes, get a lot of good information on it. And I love the Loom platform. I never, you know, Loom, Airtable, these programs I've never heard of that are all, you know, very good and very helpful. Um, so I would say, you know, yeah, trust the process. It's not somebody who's, I, I sometimes in, am uh, uh, fond of immediate gratification, which a lot of people probably are. So this is not this is not a get rich quick scheme. You know, it's, it takes you got to put in the work to to get the following and grow the following and, and whatnot. But I would say I would I would advise people to um, definitely trust the process, trust the coach and make you know, you can make changes too. like my niche is my industry is a little niche. And so like my social media manager, she's good, but sometimes the content she creates, I'm like, mm, I wouldn't say that, or I would say it differently. Or like, you know, she'll, she'll say something that's just irrelevant to what I'm doing. And so I'll just change it. And I'll just, you know, I don't have, I'm not afraid to say in Telegram, like, hey, guys, this is, we're going to change the content of this, because this is more applicable. So being able, and they, they've been, they've said, yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, you're the expert, you know, change that around if you need to. Um, so I would say, don't be afraid to just put in your own thoughts and, and criticism and expertise. And then also to watch the training videos because the videos are really good. Amazing. And then what about just like one last thing for me, what about the people who are just thinking about joining? So it's like, they're on the edge. They think it's maybe it's a good investment. Maybe it's not, maybe they're comparing different companies. What's your advice on that? Yeah. Um, well, you know, Mike gives a ton of free advice all the time on Instagram. And that's, that's probably his biggest, his biggest factor of why he's done so well is that he just lays it out there on Instagram. That's like, this is what you do. And so you see that and you're like, God, it's so, it's so, it's so valuable. If, if you're trying to go through this, that, and not just him, I mean, that's, I'm sure all you guys work on that, that, that content, but he, that, that giving that, that such free good advice, you think like, man, if this is for free, imagine what I could get if I was part of the program, you know? So I think that's part of the, part of the, part of the, what I would think, what I would say. And then also somebody said this to me once, you know, every, every, you know, Olympian has a, has a, has a coach, right? I mean, every, Every uh, athlete has a, has a coach. Every almost big CEO has a coach. I mean, people, there's life coaches. Like it's not, you need, if you're, if you're getting into something new, like for me, this is brand new. Like it makes, I wouldn't be able to do this without a coach or without a team behind me, you know? So, you know, that's, that's probably the biggest benefit for, for someone who's thinking of this or thinking of getting into this or using a service like this. It's just, you know, if your your time is so valuable to be able to, especially the done for you program, like to every Friday to have 14 new posts ready to go, all I got to do is walk around the house and shoot. You know, that's very, um, especially for someone like me who's you know executive or running on law firm. Like I've got, I can't do this all day every day. Uh, it's been very helpful. Amazing. Wisdom okay. right there. <laughs> Thank you so much. And yeah, I'll just pass to the team for the questions. I got a quick question. Um, Todd, you, you mentioned earlier, like the whole idea of you don't know what you don't know and like the details and the nuances that you didn't even know like existed and all like the variables and the tools that you actually have under your tool belt in Instagram. What were some of like the biggest ones that surprised you? Could we talk to people all the time who, as you kind of said, even, you know, the Olympians have a coach. And sometimes people have, you know, because they don't have, the, they have never gone through it. They think, oh, maybe I could do it kind of like myself, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of those details and nuances that have been super impactful that you didn't even know existed until you kind of got into it? Yeah, well, the whole, the whole like 
strategy of getting getting i mean this is all about getting eyeballs right this is all we're, we're all competing for three billion eyeballs and how can we get the most attention of the eyeballs like you know like the dopamine hits of when of when you're posting something with just a little moving something in the background you know little things like that um was super was super helpful all the little tricks on you know, account optimization was huge you know i didn't you know you see these it's so funny whenever i run come across account it's like I'm a husband of, you know, I'm a dad, I'm a tennis player. I, I love to golf and blah, blah, blah. Like you see those and like, oh, they're not in this for, you know, they're just trying to share pictures of their family. They're not trying to make any money on this platform because you can just tell they don't have that, that optimization. I mean, all the valuable, you know, um, parts of the profile, like the highlights, all of that. I just was, those are the nitty gritty details. And the other thing is uh, the hooks. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I had no concept of what a hook was before I started, you know, the, the, the program, like how to draft catchy hooks, um, what are catchy hooks, how to get someone's attention, you know, and, and then when you start paying attention to videos from that perspective, you're like, oh, that's a good hook, you know, or I'll see Mike's video sometimes like, hey, that, hey, I want that hook. Can you put that on mine? <laughs> and, and so they've been able to do that. So that's been, yeah, that's been super helpful. That's awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, Jesse's talking, but he's he's on mute. I'm sure, saying something very important. Jesse, um, you're on mute. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I was just say thanks for your transparency and, and your time here. But if you could name like one thing about the about the the offer so far, the program that you've been in, um, that you would change. You know, what's 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 been been the one thing that you'd change if you could. Hmm. I can tell some of the content creators are not. English is not their first language. So uh, there's been some misspellings in a lot of the content. So maybe for someone like me who's in, is in the States, um, I've just noticed that I've, I've, had, I've even posted some that have, I've had misspellings because I didn't catch it. And then I thought, oh wait, I gotta, I gotta sit back and read this first. I can't just trust that it's all gonna be correct. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been, that's been one or two things and not a big deal, but like sometimes, sometimes it's like, optimization like instead of a instead of a, a s it's a z you know some of it's even like you know like british uh spellings versus other spellings um but I, but i could tell um that was one thing that again not a big deal but just something i had to keep an eye on sure um and um, something that I would change, I don't know, and I'm sure it's hard for the content creators. I mean, you can't have experts in everything, right? I mean, for I'm sure. in like, no. I'm in like yeah, real no. estate syndication. So to think my social media, media manager is going to know about real estate and investing. I mean, you guys probably deal with thousands of people. I mean, how do you, you know, you got a fitness expert, you've got a culinary expert. Like, how do you, how do you come across? So, so being able to, I don't know if there's a way to, maybe for you guys to recruit those types of experts in that content, the, that content creation, and then assign them accordingly. Um, but that's one thing I've just, you know, to, to rely on the, but, but to her credit, I mean, the social media, I, mean, I, I assume she's out there scouring Instagram, looking for viral posts, looking for content, educating herself. I mean, she's obviously doing all that, doing a good job. For sure. um, but that's one thing where, where I don't know if there's a fix for that, but it's like, you can you can tell a little bit when you're starting like like Jonathan who was the prior guy he had no idea about what I did and he would say like I have no idea like here's a good video like you do the content and so I was like okay <laughs> I'll just come up with the words um and so that was one that was one extreme and then and then Mar Mara I think her name is she'll write down everything and and I, and I would say like, well, wait a minute, I don't want to like memorize this. That's not really, that's, that sounds very, like I'm not, that's very forced. I don't want to memorize it. Like, let me just shoot from the hip. Like, give me, give me, I'd rather give me like just topics and then let me just shoot from the hip. Cause I'm the expert. I can just let it flow. Sure. So she was fine with that. So that's a couple of things. Awesome. That's good. That's, that's good feedback. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And then also for, for the social media. So, because I train like all the coaches and like teams. Um, yeah, they, they just go through all the TikTok ideas and Instagram ideas to come up with the best hooks. And then um, basically the goal of our strategy is to give you the best ideas and hooks 
and then add your expertise on top of that. So um, can yeah. I give you or some class they say like, hey, just give me the hook and I'll figure out the script myself. Some yeah, classes yeah. Like, I read it word by word, so we script the words. But yeah, that's great. Yeah. So yeah. The other thing I would the other thing I would mention, I'm not sure whose question this is in response to, but I've I've noticed that you know, you know, you get what you put into it uh, from the client perspective as a client, you know, who's receiving the services. I realized that you know I I need to and Courtney was a very upfront with me you know during the initial coaching session like she can only do so much you guys can only do so much but then the rest of it really needs to come from me and you know like my ideas like like going to the workshops like learning you know this industry like social media marketing it, it, it there's a lot on the on the client there, there should be and and that was that was communicated to me by Courtney very very clearly like you know you need to take some action here as well. Don't just sit back and press record and hope for the best. Like you need, you need to be up to date on these offers and things like that. So. Fair enough. Awesome. Cool. I think that's everything from our end. We got two minutes left here. We want to respect your time too, Todd. Um, but thanks. Yeah. What, I really appreciate your time, time, man. What, what's, what's the next like milestone you see? Well, I want to start getting this coaching revenue in, you know, I feel I, I had my first Q&A call last week and the first one that someone actually showed up the one the week, the week before no one showed up. So I'm like, oh, okay, this is a good sign. But this was uh, two guys showed up, you know, because I charge I charge $515 an hour in my in my law firm. That's my that's what my time is worth if I'm billing by the hour. And so I'm, I'm sitting here giving all this like free advice on the call. And I was like, man. I should be charging for this. This is this is good legal advice. But um, I think the next step for me is the next webinar I'm having next week, I'm not going to let people in for free. So we'll see who signs up. Uh, hopefully the, the webinar will be enough to say, okay, we should get in so we can learn from this guy. But, you know, I really want to get better at converting the sales, um, converting the people who are interested in the coaching. But like, you know, and you know, yet you do this post and you're like, comment, learn if you want to if you want to know my exact system. I'll probably have 35 people comment, learn, and I'll I'll friend them, whatever it's called. I'll, I'll connect with them, I'll message them, and then I never hear anything from them again. So I don't know how to convert those people, but again, that's you know, everyone's attention span is so short these days that they commented, learn, and they forgot about it, and then they get my DM and then nothing happens. Um but uh, for me, the next step is really converting the followers into sales. That's what I got to focus on the next month. And I won the, you know, I won the poll. So I'll get an extra month for free. That's awesome. So yeah, we're going to double down on your scripts because that's the show up rate. So to make sure that people show up, we need to respond timely. We need to follow the script to make sure that we sell on calls. We need to make sure that we create an amazing offer. We attended the workshops for the sales. So yeah, buckle up. You have three more months with us. And yeah we'll awesome the coaching calls um awesome. cool thank you so much again and it was amazing having you today and Thanks, have a great man. day appreciate it